smartphone smashing my no, edges. Oh, shit. <laughs> my phone, so what? I'm going to talk to him later. Oh, he's here. No, keep your phone there, my sister. Forget phone now. You'll see. Wait till that woman was lasting. Marriage was lasting, definitely. Marriage was lasting. But there are still lots of marriages that are beautiful and blissful. These days, oh, yeah, music. lots of Christian beautiful marriages, marriages, marriages are working now. Everything is working. working privacy. Now. So for your, they, in marriage there is no privacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His phone is locked, right? So now this is me. I want to unlock the phone. Still, can you see? I've okay. unlocked the phone. He can do. As soon as he got that phone, he needed to log into his Gmail to activate the phone, and I know his Gmail password. That was how my old one was able to log into his Gmail. Access his WhatsApp. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the Zebokale family. Oh, yes. I am Perit Mifa Izebokale. And uh, my name is Izebokale Luis. And we say. Welcome, Welcome to, to our channel, channel. Mm. and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Don't mm. forget. Mm. We love you. We love you. So yes, welcome to the second in the series of adjusting in marriage Bitch. as your couples. The last video we talked about different things, and today we are talking about phones. Do phone break marriages or make marriages we are going to be talking about it today because you see our phone smart phone devices it's people say it's easy communication this and that but today we're, we're talking about different things okay first wait, wait, wait. you see smartphone mm -hmm. and then smartphone now is not smashing marriage now i tell you it's not smashing marriage now. <laughs> He rhymes smartphone smashing marriage. No, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first thing we'll be talking about regarding phones is spend more time with your partner Definitely. than with your phone. Yes. So people will say, ah, but I'll see my husband now. She will wake up on the same bed every morning. We leave the house every morning. Mm -hmm. we, you see Anna, don't carry phone. <laughs> Okay. Spend more time with your partner okay. than with your phone. What are we trying to say? You know, let me go cite this a, a scenario. There was one time we went to an e tree and we saw a couple, married couple, mature couple, right? Not young um, man and woman. No. They were eating. They said eating. They were pressing their phone. Baby, drop your phone. Okay. <laughs> they were eating. They were pressing their phone. They finished eating. They were pressing their phone. So why did you not go out? Why didn't you just cook in your house and eat? I'm eating. You see, so you, 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 you push your men loving time to each other. Then, then you're not pressing phone. Try the meals or the you order. Food. You are pressing finish. You are pressing pressing phone. phone. Pay the, uh, the kasha. Uh, kasha. You, you are, are still pressing phone. phone. So what is not the point? You should know that number one, marriage is companionship. Yes. Companionship means enjoying each other's, other's company, yes. enjoying each other's, other's presence, enjoying each other's. other's Presence. So don't say that I have my phone. So what? I'm going to talk to him later. Oh, he's here. No, keep your phone there, my sister. Forget phone now. You see, wait till that woman says you better listen every day. Keep your pigeon. You should enjoy each other's company. And to enjoy each other's company, you have to be intentional Definitely. about it. You have to be intentional about it. That means by the time you are home, both of you are around. Drop your phones. Have personal time for each other. Okay. Personal time is not just in the other room. Forget that one. Have personal time for each other. Intimacy is not just in the other room. Intimacy starts from how you spend your free time with each other. Things you say to okay, each okay, other. Wait, okay, Even for both of you can use one phone and be watching video to each other. Exactly. But not separately. You are doing your own. So he's doing his own. You are watching the same video on the same, same phone. phone. It's good. Or you are playing game on, on the, the same, same phone for each other. Be watching with this each other. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Or you see something like, ah, baby, come and see this thing. It is good. Don't say that, no, it's my phone. No. Enjoy your time with each other. Definitely. Spend time with each other, not on your phone. Not your phone. Because we have realized that some people, they will be on Instagram morning, afternoon, night, watching Instagram news, on bloggers' pages, pages watching so news. There. They are there. And their husband is around, their wife is around. That way, you are building distance. Definitely. Unintentionally, sure. Sure. it's not like you want to purposely even build distance. Yes. But because you are addicted to your, your phone, phones, yes. You are building distance. Yes. Okay. What is the thing? I, I want to go visit a friend. Okay. True, true story. Okay. This is not just 
uh, as a, a regiment mm -hmm. this true uh, a true story mm. that true story is that mm. this couple sit here mm. like sit here on there is the man sit here the human mm. sit in that place mm. they are far from each other and i uh, myself I, I sit close to the man mm. both of them they were in phone no, more than two hours separately you. me as a visitor nobody even asked me what what uh, what can we offer you Imagine. Me too, say I carry my phone. I was pressing. Imagine. All of us, we smell more than two hours to each other. More, we are on, the, on our phone. I say, Wow, this is not healthy. This is not healthy. This That's not the healthy. word. Not healthy. It's not healthy. Because the moment you start getting used to being apart from each other, when one person travels, you will not miss each other. Definitely. And uh, you know that maybe both of you are, uh, uh, you are working. Okay, both of you are uh, as in working class people. Mm. Okay, yours my clothes. Yours my wake up go mm -hmm. to his work you as well go to go to his work they put out or saturday that people have time for each other they put out we have time for for fun for fun which is not right it's not right it's not right at all Definitely. because now you are used to keeping yourself company with your phone Definitely. not keeping yourself company with your partner Personal. you understand so don't be addicted to your phone know that you got married to be companions sure to be companions and to become companions with each other you have to do it with the phone we are not saying that when you are with each other don't take calls or, or don't answer business work or a business calls or work calls or mm. no it's but not long time for everything yeah, it's not long it should not be too long no don't love a phone no it should not be too long okay i believe that sorry to say okay. i said the show, show it to us. Okay. i believe that in those days mm. why marriage last mm. it's because of there was no phone well well that's the point that's the point no serious okay. there was no phone Okay. That's what a marriage last. If you just check since phone, since phone started like this, mm. marriage will start broken. Okay. That's even because, because you had the password. Mm. You had the password from your wife. Wife is having this password from, from you. Me. Let me even tell you something. When we started our counseling back then in church, the first thing they did was carry your partner's phone. No, I never marry you that time. Carry your partner's phone. Unlock your partner's phone. They said if you cannot unlock your partner's phone, ensure you know the password before the next counseling day. Definitely. They said because that means people are not ready to do marry. Yes. Are not ready to marry because you have never you have to uh, you have to you have to as in surrender all. Surrender to the, all. all to the woman you want to marry to the man you, you want, want to marry. marry. Surrender all. Yes. Surrender all. Yes. You see that phone? The moment you know that I know my husband's password, my husband knows my password. There is trust. What are you hiding? Mm. When you have already surrendered all. Say so you, you you are the god married to this person. And you are hiding your You're phone. Hiding for you. you are saying no, it's my phone, it's my private space. There is not my privacy. Privacy in marriage. In marriage, there's no privacy. There's no okay, like okay, privacy. Okay. That should be another uh, topic for that. Another day, day yes. yes. There's no privacy. There's no privacy. In Back to phone now. Don't say you want to hide your phone. Because the moment you know that you have access to your husband's phone, your husband has access to your phone. He builds trust. Some people will say, and I wait in your eyes, see, now you used to carry ammo, forget. It's not good, it's not, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. What do you say? You don't have to go and snoop, because you know that you can carry the phone anytime. They are snooping and checking, they are yes, different things. Right, you don't have to go and be hiding and carrying your husband's phone, because you know that you can check it at any time. Right, but what are you even checking for when you know you trust your husband? Yes, trust your husband. And some people will say that, uh, checking, your, checking your husband's phone, checking your partner's phone, mm. you will make it to shed tears. Yes. Which is not good. Which is not good. It's not good. What, share, what tears are you sharing? What are you sharing? When you, when you are really saying that, this is the person who spent my rest of my yes. life. My dear, you have to free everything. Yeah, exactly. You have to surrender have to all. Oh, 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 surrender oh. all. Oh. I surrender uh, all. <laughs> Do I surrender to you now? I, I you say I surrender to you too. That's it. That is it. Do you understand? This phone matter. Then, maybe. Because do you know? Do you know why? I have a family. I have to tell you truth before God. I have a family. Mm. He told his wife. I would. There is is a part of their package in the marriage. Mm. He told his wife, please. Mm. I, I will not be checking your phone. Mm. You will not be checking my phone. Mm. And they send it. And both of them, as as they, as they are happy, told me it's not good. I will not check your phone. You will not check my phone. No. Why? What is that marriage? So that means you cannot carry. Let's say now there's an emergency and you want to make a call. You cannot carry your husband phone to make up. Yes, you cannot, cannot make up. Okay, even, even say okay, anything you went out, there's two errors in. You have an accident. Go for people thing. Then no, nobody can open uh, as in nobody can call your husband. That's bad. So there's nothing like you see phone. 
It is a gadget that comes with a lot of benefits. Definitely. But when it comes to marriage, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. You have In to marriage. Be very, very because careful. you are saying yes to this person. And you have to say yes to all. Say yes to all. Oh, say yes to all everything. See, this is what I'm saying. We're not just saying it from somewhere. We're talking about what we have realized. Do you understand? Because and, and, it, and it's working for us. It's working for us. It's working for us. We have realized because that. if you know each other's part, if you know each other's phone, I know password. my password. I know my password. Mm -hmm. My wife, please pick my call. As our father said, Bishop, we was say, I would always say, my wife, please pick my call. Oh, please let me reply that person. Oh, may I not forget though? I want to message this person. Let me message them. Message them for me. It's very good. Very very good because you have realized that two have become one. Definitely. That way. Your heart keeps on warming up to each other every, every day. day. Every day. Every day. Because you know that two have become one. one. Right? Then another one is compromising. How do I mean by compromising? When it's sleeping time, you poor are going to bed now. You are lying down, one person is on his phone, the other one has slept. Has slept, then you are pressing your phone. Yeah, pressing phone. Then you wake up in the morning, one has woken up, no, the other one is on his phone. On his phone. No! I have seen that a couple. The husband, the husband is sleeping. Mm. Then the woman is pressing the phone. Why? The same phone? The same phone. No. Why are you pressing phone, the phone? No. The phone, no. I'm coming. Okay. This, I'm coming my wife. Alright, okay. Then this woman, mm. as the husband said, mm. he said he's sleeping. He went, he went to bed by 9 o'clock mm. and his wife was with his phone and the, the TV was off. His wife was, uh, was in his phone mm. more than till 3 o'clock when I said, let it go easy herself. It just passed because it depends on the house you are. Mm. So house, you may pass your pallet to your, 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 uh, to your kitchen. Your, you, you know, to your kitchen, you say what you want to see water. Mm. He see his wife with ear pod and phone on his hand. It's not healthy. It's As a marriage, it's not good. It's not healthy. At three o'clock, your wife is here on this phone. And when you, you as a man, you went to bed and you even wake up to go and drink water. Because water is good. Sometimes save it might not be it's maybe the man or it's maybe the other way around. The, the other way around. The mayor is both, the other way around. both, both parties. Mm -hmm. It's not good. It's not good. Spend more time Mostly, with yourself. Mostly obviously if you're in your if you're in your home. Mm. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. So why else tell you that? You see phone. Phone, phone is a smartphone, smartphone and a smart smash of, of, marriages. of marriages. So you have to be aware yeah, of careful. Def definitely, you have to be aware of careful. And I always say that since phone, since we came outside, as in marriages are broken. So say, I look my husband's phone, I see, I look my husband's phone, I see. I always say that, oh, those days, those days of our father, there was no phone, there was nothing. Marriage was Marriage was lasting, definitely. Marriage was lasting. But there are still lots of marriages that are beautiful and blissful these days. Though. Yeah, beautiful. Lots of Christian beautiful marriages. Oh, marriage, marriages are uh, working out, everything is working. working out. So for yourself, tell yourself what you want for your marriage. Definitely. You understand? So now mm -hmm. while you are caught in, start knowing that once we get married. Um, uh, even in the, even, even you are caught in a serious relationship that you want you to lead to marriage. You should know each other's password. password. Yes. A serious relationship that you want to lead to marriage. You should know each other's, other's password. password. From that phone. time. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't say you want to wait till God knows when. No, no, know each other's password. So, I didn't say that you are caught, caught in. So, that let it be a part of this course. That's okay, please. So, can I know you? If I, if, if, if both of you have two months, three months, you should know each other's password on your phone. Why you are cutting? We are cutting. It's very good. Don't say no, I, I want to have my private. No, 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 no. I'm telling you. The real institution called it, it, marriage. No. In is marriage, oneness, it, it, yes, oneness. Oneness. in marriage, there is no privacy. I would tell you, in marriage, there is no privacy. Mm -hmm. In marriage, the Bible say, it said both of them they were naked, there was no ashamed. Mm -hmm. That's what I will say. That's a free. Naked is not all about cloth. Who, naked means you are bearing each other, others. bearing your heart, bearing everything you are doing, doing to each, each other. Others, definitely. To each other. So marriage is oneness. Definitely. And your oneness should include your phone. Your, phones. <laughs> your okay. oneness okay, should okay. include oh, yeah, please, oh, your yeah. phone. Okay, yes. Okay, so now my husband, this is his phone. Yes. Okay. His phone is locked, right? Okay. Okay, yeah, it's locked. Uh -huh. His phone is locked. Let me increase the brightness of the phone. Uh -huh. His phone is locked, right? So now this is me. I want to unlock the phone. Still, 
Can you see? I've okay. unlocked the phone. It can do same with my phone. Definitely. Simple. Do you understand? I can open his WhatsApp. Anything I want to open, I can open it. I can open it. Because one next, it extends to your phone in marriage. One next extends no, to open your phone. Open the WhatsApp. Open the WhatsApp. Open the WhatsApp. See, let me unlock it back. Open the WhatsApp. So. See. Open the WhatsApp. This WhatsApp. I already opened WhatsApp already. Can you see? This is WhatsApp. And I've also opened his WhatsApp business. See it. I've opened it. I even need to remind you there was one time that my husband lost his phone. That was when we were praying for our wedding way back. The phone went missing. And he had to get another phone on the spot on that day. Now we can talk about it and laugh about yeah, it. But that day sure. was it. It was, it was a hell. Ah, it was a sad. Sure, definitely, it was a hard year. That day, something clicked on my head. What am I trying to see? As soon as he got that phone, he needed to log into his Gmail to activate the phone. And I know his Gmail password. That was how my other one was able to log into his Gmail, access his WhatsApp. Now, what am I trying to say? That day, as soon as the phone got stolen, we went to a um, network provider, MTN and Ethel, sent them to help us block the line right. that the phone has been missing, right? Yeah. So we thought they had already done it. We got new sim they disabled the old sim card and all so we're not looking for how to get another phone. yeah i was holding your phone then uh -huh. the the people that steal my phone now calling your now phone called me that's the mistake they made they were calling me on whatsapp i was like baby say, ah, who they call me when your phone is not your phone and i will not realize that they had not blocked that sim card do you understand and we got a new phone that day by god's grace and we we're able to log into my husband's gmail because i knew his gmail password you know everything as you might not know his password to his Gmail account now, how will he access yeah, his phone that day? Mm -hmm. They would have practically done everything. <laughs> don't even want to go into that story. No, no. But that day, it clicked on my mind that, oh, I'm actually starting a journey with someone. Do you understand? I'm starting a journey with someone, right? And I could come through for him because I knew his password by God's grace. Because we had already decided that this is a journey where to become one. So your one is my dear people should extend to your phone. No, what what the, that woman was saying yesterday, he said if I go as, as, as I go to church, say there's one man, you must lump. Mm. The mass lump. Mm. That they need money for mm. for treatment. Okay. Then they, they took him out to hospital and the woman don't have that kind of money, but mm. he has one have money. Then the password of the phone mm. was locked. The woman did not know password for the woman to the man's account. Account. Nobody knows. Nobody it. is it good? It's not good. So all these things then uh, one day should extend to your definitely, phone. definitely. So see we come your way again. Yeah. In fact, before they let us quickly do a recap, right? Yes. So the first thing is adjusting the marriage as new couple. Definitely sure. The first one is spend more time with yourself okay. than on your the phone. Phones. The second one is know each other's password. password. It, it helps build trust. trust. It helps build trust. And it helps you stay bare to each other. It helps you stay naked to each other. Okay. And the third one is be ready to be with each other and compromise on your phone time. Don't wake up to your phone and sleep with your phone. No, it's not good. spend time with each, each other. other. Definitely. You understand? And always remember that in marriage, you are surrendering all. Yes. And your surrendering all includes your phone. Yes includes your okay. phones right i do if you say i do yes i do together it's forever forever two has become one, one. and that oneness includes so your phone phones yes. so till we come your way Every next time, time we are the zebra and we love, love you, you. god bless you